Hello, Chief's Kingdom. I'm Derek, and welcome to the channel. Here, you'll find everything you need to know about our beloved Kansas City Chiefs. As one of the NFL's premier teams, the Chiefs have consistently maintained their position thanks to exceptional talent and strategic roster management. With the 2024 NFL season in full swing, let's dive into some critical updates on injuries, roster adjustments, and the franchise's future plans. Here's everything you need to know about Kansas City's journey toward championship contention. First, I want to ask you all for a small favor. If you enjoy what we do here, please take a moment to hit that like button. It's a fantastic way to support us at no cost to you. Thanks a million. Now, let's get into some great news, both good and bad. The Kansas City Chiefs are gearing up for their highly anticipated Black Friday showdown against the Las Vegas Raiders. Head coach Andy Reid provided positive updates on two key players, Isaiah Pacheco and Charles Omenuhu. Both are expected to return from injury. Pacheco, the team's dynamic running back, has been sidelined since week two due to a fractured fibula sustained against the Cincinnati Bengals. Meanwhile, defensive end Omenihu has been recovering from a torn ACL suffered in the AFC Championship game earlier this year. Both players participated fully in practice sessions on Tuesday and Wednesday, marking significant progress in their rehabilitation. Reed emphasized a cautious yet optimistic approach, stating, As long as they're okay, we'll play them. This careful evaluation ensures both players are game-ready without risking re-injury. Quarterback Patrick Mahomes expressed confidence in Pacheco's ability to regain form, highlighting his explosiveness and energy. Offensive coordinator Matt Nagy also outlined plans to manage Pacheco's workload alongside Kareem Hunt. The return of these players promises to bolster Kansas City's depth and versatility on both sides of the ball. Now, let's talk about Kansas City's kicking situation, which has been a roller coaster in recent weeks. Spencer Scheider stepped in for the injured Harrison Butker and secured a victory with a game winning field goal against the Carolina Panthers. However, Spencer suffered a hamstring strain during practice, prompting the team to sign Matthew Wright as a contingency. Wright, a seasoned kicker with previous experience filling in for the San Francisco 49ers, is poised to step up for Kansas City if Scheider is unable to play. With Butker's return timeline still uncertain, Wright's performance will be crucial in maintaining the team's edge in tightly contested games. The Chiefs' defense has been a standout unit this season, but the cornerback position remains an area for improvement. Analysts speculate that Kansas City may target Rasul Douglas, a veteran cornerback from the Buffalo Bills, during the upcoming free agency period. Known for his strong performances in previous seasons, Douglas could bring stability to a young secondary anchored by rookie players. At 29, Douglas represents a cost-effective option, bolstering the Chiefs' defense as they navigate salary cap challenges. Such strategic acquisitions could ensure Kansas City maintains its defensive prowess while preparing for the future. Speaking of the future, with star tight end Travis Kels approaching his late 30s, the Chiefs are looking ahead to secure a long-term successor. Recent mock drafts have linked Kansas City to Tyler Warren, a standout tight end from Penn State known for his exceptional receiving skills and versatility. Standing at 6'6", and weighing 261 pounds, Warren combines size, athleticism, and strong hands, making him a red zone threat and a reliable option in the passing game. While his blocking skills may need refinement, Warren's upside makes him an intriguing prospect for Kansas City's future. Drafting him would give Mahomes another dynamic target and allow the Chiefs to transition smoothly as Kelsey's role evolves.